Oh, look, this is Ido jumping. Ido, why don't you fly into space when your feet leave the ground? What pulls you back down? It's gravity, of course. But how can you show gravity to your students? How can you measure it? Let's consider one of the most famous scientists of all time. Newton. And his second law of motion and acceleration. All we need is the lab disk motion sensor and ping pong. Bluetooth wireless communication makes this a cable-free exercise. We will set up the lab disk via the Globilab software. All we need is three simple steps. We'll open the setup screen, select the distance sensor, set it to measure at 25 samples per second, and collect 1,000 samples. That's it, we are ready to go. I'm going to hold the lab disk one meter above the table, but first we need to open the cover for the distance sensor. I will start recording and then Ido will drop the ball under the distance sensor. Immediately we see the data building with every jump shown in a peak of the graph. The ball's movement is represented by this graph of distance as a function of time. Let's use the markers and crop function to focus on the graph section showing the ball's jumps. We will first place two markers. Then use the crop function. Now we can see the ball's jumps. We can use the markers to focus our students' attention into a single ball jump. The free fall equation tells us that the ball's position is a second degree function of time or in other words, a parabola. Having selected the start and end point of one bounce, now I will press the quadratic regression function to get the parabola equation. With this equation, we can measure gravity. In two minutes of class time, with a simple piece of equipment, like a ping pong ball, your students understand gravity. Got it? Got it.